Now to the most dramatic and unpredictable race on last month's ballot. We are following the close call in the district 16th congressional race to replace Anna Eshoo. As of last night, it was an unofficial tie between the two candidates who will challenge San Jose Mayor Sam Licardo, former mayor, in the November election. The results need to be certified today and then reported to the Secretary of State. ABC 7 News reporter Zach Fuentes has been closely tracking all the twists in this race. He joins us now live. Zach, a tie? Now what? A tie. This has been very entertaining in some ways to watch, Ama, because this has been neck and neck for that second place spot for so long. Since remember, primary election day was March 5th, so we have not had an answer for weeks now. So yes, the counties had to certify their elections today. Those results have now been certified, so we know it's a tie. That is going to the Secretary of State, like you said. So now, in light of that, all three candidates, Licardo, Lowe, and Semidian, get to go on to the general election. So all three of them are going to be on the ticket. This is something that is not really happened. It's almost unheard of. We were, I was talking to Rick Klein, the ABC News political director, who said that he has not seen, he can't remember the last time he's seen a tie like this in an election. As we know, Rick knows a lot about elections and a lot about <laughs> politics. For him to be surprised, that really does tell you something. Why is this race in particular so close? Any ideas? Well, you know, the thing with these candidates is that there's not a lot of policy that separates them. They are very, they're all Democrats. It's an all Democratic ticket that we're going to have in the general election. There's not too much that separates them. The thing that separates them, I guess, would be age for some of them. And then the name recognition in different regions. You know, Sam Licardo was a former San Jose mayor. Joe Simidian has been in politics the longest of the three. Very well known, more on the peninsula. And then Evan Lowe is younger. He's been in the state, of, he's been in the state assembly. He's a state assembly assembly member right now and he skews for the younger vote. What was interesting when I was speaking with the Santa Clara County Registrar's Office about this Tuesday actually was that they were saying that a lot of people 18 to 34 looked like they were voting for Evan Lowe in that area. But uh, you know Tuesday was also the last day that challenged ballots. So ballots where signatures needed to be verified. That was the last day that people could come in and verify their signature. And they also said a lot of those ballots were people 18 to 34. Maybe people who weren't uh, who don't use a signature too often in handwriting, <laughs> maybe the DocuSign. And so you, those are some of the differences, is who is voting for these candidates, where their names are most recognized, in what region, because this congressional district is big and it encompasses San Mateo and Santa Clara counties. And did you go back there today, actually? Yes, I was at the Santa Clara County Registrar's Office today. They were talking about the certification process. Like I said, Tuesday was the last day for people to fix their uh, ballots that needed to have their signatures verified. Cure them is the term they use. And it really does speak to how lengthy this process is to make sure that every vote that can be counted will be counted. And these candidates fighting for that second place spot wanted every vote possible to be counted because it was just, there was a handful of votes separating them really throughout most of this since March 5th, just a handful of votes. And then, yes, it was Tuesday, one vote that was separating them. Evan Lowe had that one vote. He was in the lead. But then somebody at the very last minute in San Mateo County came, verified their signature, and it just so happened that they were voting for Joe Semidian. And that's what brought this to a tie vote. This is almost unprecedented again. So Licardo was, you know, in the lead by a long shot. He's probably been, you know, having his popcorn watching this all unfold. But now it's really on for all three of these candidates. Yeah, it certainly is. Well, we thank you so much for following along with all of this. Zach, still a lot to play out. We appreciate your time. Absolutely, Arma.